part. That's good. That's a good feeling. It's two sides of the coin. Love and hate. Now listen, they I combine for a vicious and beautiful faith. hate fuck. In faith. We have a couple questions for you before we enter the override that's already triggered. Oh, we would triggered. hate to the fuck out of each other, uh, dude. Now, mm. first first statement to react to, not a question, but statement to react to. Let's start with you, Jen. Um, from FSD Alpha said, <clears throat> your kids will be ugly as fuck. Get making. Response? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... I appreciate the fact that uh, they want us to procreate. That's a very nice, warming uh, wish to wells. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And let's go to you. Uh, go to you, Bat Freak. Uh, your kids will be ugly as fuck. Get making. Response? I don't want to have fucking kids. I like spending my money on myself and SpaghettiOs and traveling the world and having mad fucking hate fuck orgies. I don't need to spend it on some little fucking rug rat. That's my money. By the way, no worries. I can't have kids. I spend them on wrestling fucking action figures. Exactly. I got, we all Bruce. got our own fucking Bruce. fetishes. I don't Bruce. need to spend it on some little rat. Take him to goddamn well, track two, that. three, four, four, five, six. Shitting all over the all over the place. Okay, we got another question. Hold on. We got another question. Uh, uh, we'll start with you now, Bat Freak. Uh, from Larry Picklejar, if you were being mm. really loud in your Boston area hotel room, how would you react when the concierge knocked on your door to is to say, keep it down? You just slip them a 50 and you say, buy me 20 minutes, twerp. That's all you got to do, Larry. You fucking know it. You're a big shot. You hand him a fucking wad of cash. You push him out that goddamn room. Come on, Larry Picklejohn. Like, this is your first fucking rodeo? Hey, fuck city, baby. All right, let's go to hey, you, fuck Jen. City. If you were being really loud in your Boston area hotel room, how would you react when the concierge knocked on your door to, say, keep it down? Um, I would definitely um say, you know me. Get the fuck away from my door. This has already happened already, and I would I would probably shove fifty dollars up his asshole. Whoa! I don't know, man. Not fifty dollars. All Gorgeous. right. I'm a big baller, bro. So listen. Uh, I don't like this. That made me very uncomfortable, actually. Can I? That's two can Mattel we, Legends of Wrestling collectible figures right there. Override has been triggered. Bucks. It is up to the chat now. FSC I want him to win for the trigger. It's I want to him to win. I want the Alpha to win. Here we go. Now, Let's vote for him, man. Come on. That's it. Now, That's it. Gonna pick, Get him. I don't know. You guys are very well. Uh, you're very complimentary to each other. It's now, true. You've got the yeah. alpha with the number one, but like two, you like, you put, you, you, you have the alpha female, but you were very honest yeah. with your acquiescence to his, his like pushiness, you know, you, cause you need yeah. that. You need that energy. The alpha can't just steamroll, but it, it, no, you need an alpha female. Yeah, so we listen, just need to, we that, need to that, do this. And that's what we dealt with. So let's see what the the gaggle of retards in the chat have to say. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm absolutely open to being dominated, by the way, and defiled. I'm not against that whatsoever. By the way, just I'm a the dominatrix. Alpha energy. All right. Well, okay, we have a tie. I'm a dominatrix. Win. We have a, a tie. Oh, not shit first it between you two, but a tie between uh, one violence and bat freak. Bat freak, you have come out on top once again. Now, I honestly would have chosen you as well. Would have chosen you as well. You, know what's uh, you guys. Now, Jen, you simply listen again. Valiant effort. The only thing you should be embarrassed about is being a loser. Being a Losing, female, just not being good enough. Namaste. You just simply don't have what it takes. Good luck next time, though. Um, blessings to you and yours. So, buy a uh, couple cans of spaghettios and call me, Jen. Call me, spaghetti. Jen. Call me. Okay. Well, wow. Really interesting. Uh, really interesting round. Really interesting three rounds. Catwoman, Barry, and uh, Jenna Manic all vanquished by Bat Freak, Hate Fuck City. Namaste. FSC Alpha, it's because you're autistic, much love. Um, I don't know exactly what that is in reference to or who is autistic. Maybe, oh, J Jen doesn't have what it takes because she's autistic. Well, it kind of depends on the kind of autism, right? 
because you watch Love on the Spectrum, and you know those they're adorable. They're all that's like that's like if you got to go to IKEA and pick an autistic person to have in your life. Perfectly functional, perfectly gauged in. But then, you, 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 guys, we've been around the block. We've seen a fair number of autistic people that would not do well on a show because they are very caustic, very off-putting, very alienating people. And I would say that ultimately they don't have what it takes and will be alone for their lives, deservedly so. No mistake. So listen, let's go to the leaderboard before we take in our next contestant. Leaderboard. Looking at Peppercorn Patty. Putting a lot on the line. Answering the call. Namaste, Peppercorn. Answering the call. Peppercorn putting 59 up, walking out with 70. Namaste to you. You really rose to the occasion. Bismore 999, 30,000, walking out with 35. Seventh Dragon Ball, wagering 19, walking out with 22. I'm Kapoor, wagering 18, walking out with 22. Disciple, 17, walking out with 20,000. Please be offended, 15, 17. Please be offended. Once again, I can tell you're waiting to the last second to wager because you're walking out with, like, dog shit. So once again, maybe if you're, you know, stop blinking. Stop being a little baby. Um, okay, so that was interesting. That was a that was a real... We've had a lot of crazy rounds lately, and we have someone, a new contestant I'm not as familiar with. I am extremely excited to meet extremely excited to get some new blood in here because that new blood it's unpredictable you don't know what it's going to be you don't know who it's going to be namaste let's go ahead and get the new contestant contestant go ahead and turn your camera on so we can get you on screen blessings to you blessings now this is exciting now this is a wild card let's get his ass on the screen namaste guys Please join me in welcoming our new contestant. Hello. Here we go. Fantastic. Now, if player number one, you know him, you, you voted for him, you've made points off of him, bat freak hate fuck city, but... Hate fuck city! Let's go to number two. Let's go to number two. Uh, uh, contestant, what should we call Hits you tonight? Me. Tell us a little something about yourself. This guy who I'm across from right now, I want to pay respect to him. An absolute unit. Look at this guy. Chest hair, emblazoned fantastic right what would you like to know about me uh well what 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 what, what drove what drew you to the, the 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 game show tonight what 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 how you feeling right now you know leslie i'm feeling great honestly i'm here on behalf of zombie jamboree i'm here from his discord i'm here to represent uh big fan of the show big fan of the show pleasured to be here pleasured that's the that's the word I still need to watch. What are you wearing there? Cardigan? He's got a cardigan on? on? What is this? This is his outfit. Cardigan, yeah, a little bit. Got Love a little it. bit of color popping. Yeah. I like this guy. He's fucking handsome as hell. Dapper. Would love to pour spaghetti all over that cardigan and make him lick it off. <laughs> now, I have a, do have a question before we enter the prediction round. Um, uh, uh, now, Bat Freak, we know that you will fuck anything that moves and has a hole that gives you a thumbs up. Now, let's go to... A hole's a hole is what my dad taught me. My Uncle Alfred is my dad. Number two, what should we call you? What did you say your name was again? You, know, you can call me BizBoz. BizBoz. So, BizBoz, um, are, are you gay at all or straight straight guy? You know, straight guy married with kids, but, you know, willing to just kind of bend the rules a little bit for the internet. You're damn right. right you are. So we are on a forced gay date, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in mind while we enter the prediction round. Um, we're definitely going to be, for, you know, looking at your behavior through that lens, uh, Biz Boz. And, you know, Bat Freak, we pretty, have a pretty good understanding of the energy that you bring. So let's enter the prediction. Here we go. Um, let's start with you, Biz Boz. Why should we vote for you rather than Bat Freak? Why should we vote for me? Hmm. Well, I've been around the block. I've uh, worked for the government most of my life. I've uh, got a few interesting cards up my sleeve. A little bit of a mystery, if you will. I believe is that. Is he trying to threaten us, or what is that? You work for the government? You CIA operative, MK Ultra kind of shit? Just a little bit of mystique, you know? Nothing too serious, nothing, nothing abrasive. Just, you know, a little bit more to there to be about me where'd you take your name from the dr seuss book Biz 
Zork game. You ever play those old Zork games? 3 do Well, you know, the text, the text About adventures. About 10 seconds left. I only had a 3 do growing up. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. It's probably before your time. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, Choose my your champion. goodness, guys. It is very nearly a dead heat between you two. That freak you're favored by a little bit, but BizBox, that, that stuff Certain about time. having tricks up your sleeve and working for the government, I saw the, the chat really respond to that. You are barely an underdog tonight. Really, this is going to be a really interesting round. So any final words? You know, I'm excited. Say the prayer I'm excited, and the Leslie. Octagon? I'm ready. I'm prepared. All right, you have to say the prayer, though. It's on the screen. Infatuator's prayer. The infatuator's prayer. I do not exist. Do not exist without the other. Without the other. And the other, and the other does not exist without me. As I gaze upon my lover, as I, I, wish, to my lover, I wish to slaughter their mind and body. As I, as I look upon my, my enemy, I experience a lust that defies either. Love and fear. Fear and hatred. Hatred and lust. Lust and need. That which delivers me destroys me. Destroys me, delivers me. For all time, until form becomes formless. Until the commotion of being gives way to eternal silence namaste eternal science all right i am boys a namaste have fun in there already <laughs> let's begin the day hey what kind of shit you got in your freezer that i can pour all over your cardigan and either make you lick it off or i lick it off myself i want to defile you mr goody two shoes oh look at you go you're already orgasming you're already excited by the idea aren't you oh yes I like this one too. They're getting stronger and better and more fitting for my desires. You got me. Where are we? Where were we? I said, what's in your freezer right now that we could heat up and I could pour all over your car to get and either lick it off and make you lick pancakes. Frozen pancakes? You make them at home and you freeze them? I make them. We make them. We make them pre-frozen. So they're, you just put them in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds, three at a time. And they're just, you know. Uh, chef's kiss. Mr. Dad here. Wow. You you make sure your kids eat their asparagus every dinner? How do you make sure your kids oh, eat yeah. your vegetables, Dad? Oh, I just told them, you know what? You got to eat what's in front of you. And they just take to it like fish to water. Let's get to the freaky stuff you do with your wife after hours. You guys ever hit up swingers clubs? You ever go to PAX East for the orgies? Swingers clubs? You know, interestingly enough, I was a cop for about seven years, and there were swingers all up in that. The swingers and the cops, there's a big overlap there. If there you is, made a Zen really diagram, is. they like to get freaky with it. I've poured a lot of SpaghettiOs over the assholes of many police officers, and they've enjoyed the fucking hell out of it. Let me tell you what, Ms. Boz. I believe it. I believe it. I've been there. Ms. Boz, you got a question for me? We're on a fucking day right now. What encapsulates the essence of you? Uh, frozen SpaghettiOs poured all over. Basically put a lot of tarps down up in the hotel room so we don't have to get charged for the stains on the floor. Uh, letting my white worms flow into the SpaghettiOs and having sexual orgasms that would rock uh, even uh, the god of Cox world. Overt, blatant. We love it. I bring the energy. Can you imagine having sex with this beast? Can you imagine the hate fuck city? The, the, the lights that would go, go, fireworks going off in your soul as I defiled your beautiful dad bod? Come on, use your imagination. I, I, I sh I'm shuddering right now. You fucking love it. You're fresh meat. You have been around the block too. I can tell. You know a thing or two about a spaghetti o whirlpool white worm party that I'm gonna bring. You I'm know, gonna pour white worms and spaghettios all over you, your uh, fucking soul. You put that hamburger helper beef stroganoff in the in the microwave there. I like the whole it cold, house dude. Aroma. I like it and cold. That's the date. <laughs> Namaste. A round of applause for our contestants. Terrific work. Uh, now, how'd that feel? Biz Boss, let's go to you first. How'd that feel? Oh, uh, I feel elated. You liked elated. it. I know he did. Excited. Happy. Thrilled. Wow, wonderful. Just give it. It seemed like you really enjoyed yourself out there. It was, it was fun to watch. Titillated. Communal Vision from FSD Alpha. Um, 
Funny Bunny, Funny Bunny 046. Thank you so much for that resub. Blessings to you. Namaste, hey, City. Funny Bunny. Hype Train has been activated. Wow. I've never even seen one of those before. What is that? I, I, if there's a Twitch admin watching right now, listen. Know that I, if you, if, if I love you and the work that you do. You're so important and good, and thank you for keeping us all safe. FSD Alpha with a communal vision, White Worm Party. Hell um, yeah. Now, we do have a question before we enter the judge's decision round. Has not been overridden yet, so this will come down to my decision. The question from uh, Larry Picklejar, uh, do you, uh, let's go to you, Bat Freak, first. Do you enjoy getting owned while representing a stream with at least six people watching? That's from Larry Picklejar. Go to you, Bat Freak. Uh, I like to be dominated. I like to be defiled. I like to feel like a little pile of shit covered in white worms on the ground and have the high heels step on me and squish me. So Larry Picklejar, yes. Yes, I do. You want to squish me and put the high heels on there, pickle jar? Just make sure you bring the fucking SpaghettiOs first, baby. <laughs> I hate fuck city. Now let's go to you, uh, BizBoss. Do you enjoy getting owned while representing a stream with at least six people watching? <laughs> Response? 